The Turkish citizens are rushing to convert their savings into gold. And then this happened. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. We're a channel that likes to buy physical gold and silver. And we like a coin with a good story. If you like those things, please subscribe. We're going to bring you news from one of my favorite news sites, Zero Hedge. Turkey hit by bank runs, currency panic, as locals sell their cars and houses to buy gold while lira implodes. This was based in part on a story from Reuters. Gold rush at Turkish Bazaar, a test of trust for lowly lira. But let's stick with the Zero Hedge story because it's a story and commentary at the same time. It's been a miserable five years for Turkish citizens who have seen their purchasing power slashed by more than half, and it's only getting worse. The Turkish lira has cratered against the dollar and most developed currencies plunging from 3 TRY per dollar to a record low 7.37 last week after a brief and valiant attempt at imposing shadow capital control by Erdogan, who is now de facto head of the Turkish Central Bank, failed miserably at the end of July, and not even a draconian hike in overnight funding rates above 1,000% last week to crush the shorts was able to prevent a plunge in the lira to new all-time lows. As their currency implodes, in a nation that is becoming increasingly more banana with each passing day, as Erdogan solidifies his takeover of every government institution in the process turning off any potential foreign investors, Turks are discouraged from material purchases of dollars to hedge the collapse in their native currency due to some of the strictest capital controls on the planet, which has left them with only one option. As Reuters reports, Hassan Ayahan followed his wife's instructions last week and took their savings to buy gold at Istanbul's Grand Bazaar as Turks scooped up bullion worth $7 billion in just a fortnight, that's two weeks, while their currency went up in flames. The retired police officer hit by vivid memories of the 2018 currency crisis which saw the lira lose 30% of its value virtually overnight was among those playing it safe as he queued into the city's sprawling covered market where a screen showed the gold price rise by one Turkish lira in just 10 minutes. What's more, it now appears that locals are choosing gold over the dollar, perhaps because the dollar has also been tumbling against gold in recent weeks due to the Fed's overt attempts to debase the greenback. I think it is the best investment right now so I converted my dollars to buy gold, the 57-year-old said, adding, I might withdraw my lira and buy gold with it too, but I'm afraid to go to the bank right now because of coronavirus. Well, Hassan, for people in Turkey, it is the best investment, but there is a rather high chance that Erdogan pulls an FDR and makes it illegal for anyone in Turkey to own gold so you and your fellow countrymen may want to have a series of unfortunate boating accidents in the coming weeks. In any case, the day after Ayhan bought his gold on August 6th, the lira hit a historic low and has continued to slide, laying bare concerns that Turkey's reserves have been depleted by market interventions, which are showing signs of fizzling out even as the central bank and president flood the local airwaves with fake news about monetary stability and urge locals to keep their money in the lira. Only this time it's not working. Turks have traditionally used gold as savings, and there may be as much as 5,000 tons of it under mattresses, with more added after the recent buying spree. Mehmet Ali Yildirim Turk deputy head of Istanbul Gold Shops Association, said. And although gold has never been more expensive in either lira or dollar terms, vendors at Istanbul's Grand Bazaar said almost no one is coming to sell their gold jewelry. They're only buyers. Now a side note is that the East is known for buying when gold is low, and the West is known for buying 
when gold is high. But I think in this crisis, the East, represented by Turkey, are just buying. I've been chatting with hundreds of people who are thinking about selling their cars or houses to invest in gold, said Gunay Guns, whose busy booth is near the market's entrance. Putting the recent gold buying frenzy in context in just the last three weeks, as selling gripped the lira, local holdings of hard assets such as dollars and gold jumped 15 billion to a record of nearly 220 billion, making a mockery of the central bank's attempts to halt the currency slide. The good news is that, according to routers, so far there is no evidence suggesting people are about to pull savings from banks, and this week the lira has hovered around 7.3 versus the dollar, although it remains among the worst emerging market performers this year. Demand has eased since Turks withdrew some $2 billion in hard foreign cash from their banks during a March to May period in which a lockdown was imposed, and the lira hit its last low, according to central bank banknote data. But that will surely change should the free-falling the lira accelerate. Indeed, analysts say if Ankara cannot boost confidence in the currency, which has fallen almost 20% this year, import heavy Turkey risk inflation and even a balance of payments crisis that will worsen fallout from the coronavirus crisis. It also guarantees even more weakness for the lira and even more buying of gold. Meanwhile, with foreign investors now having only a small stake in Turkish assets after the government's authoritarian approach has spooked many of them away, it is critical for President Erdogan to convince Turks and local businesses to stop turning to the perceived stability of dollars and gold. One look at the chart above suggests that's not working. Meanwhile, Finance Minister Barat Albarak, who just happens to be Erdogan's son-in-law, said on Wednesday the lira's competitiveness is more important than exchange rate volatility. The central bank has effectively borrowed on local dollar liquidity to fuel its foreign exchange market interventions, which are meant to stabilize the lira, according to data and the calculation of traders and economists. Locals don't want to keep the Turkish lira. They've been dollarizing and buying gold. Turks have hardly ever done that historically, said Shamela Khan, New York-based head of EM Debt Strategy at Alliance Bernstein. That is why you need proactive policies, because if you get to the stage that locals are unwilling to keep their money in the bank, then you're heading to a balance of payments crisis. That's when the alarm bells will start ringing. To halt the bank runs, some banks imposed fees on withdrawals this week. While the central bank has curbed cheap credit channels, it had opened to ease the coronavirus fallout. Yet while the lira deposits now earn more than 8.25% policy rate, the real returning is negative when you factor in inflation at 11 plus percent. So as the Turkish citizens try to convert their currency to either dollars or gold, then this happened. Their banks started charging penalties for them to withdraw their own cash. If you'd like to see more stories on gold and silver stacking, please watch one of our featured videos.